clean with me, cleaning the kitchen after a big meal. The first thing that I'm going to do is put away this pasta that I had left over in the strainer. So I got a Tupperware-like dish and put it in there, and I'm going to take my cucumber and put that inside of the refrigerator to be consumed later. So now it's time to get started. I'm going to take my cloths, put them away, a hand towel, put that away so it's not in the way, and uh, take the trash as well as the towels and put them into place. There's another hand towel, I'm just going to place it on the back back there, I'll deal with it a little bit later. And just gather um, the pots and pans that are around the kitchen, just put them all in one central location and the point of doing this is that so I can have everything consolidated which will make this process uh, run smoothly. So I'm going to clear out the sink and get ready to rinse these dishes. There's a lot of food on the dishes so I want to get as much as this off as I possibly can before entering the dishes into the dishwasher. So I have a bowl have cups and also have pans. That's the top to the blender. I'm going to rinse that out. The pot that I use to cook the pasta. Sometimes pasta gets stuck in the bottom of that, so I have to use my uh, fingers to pull out. Then rinse out the cup that I use for green smoothie. And then put the saucer and cast iron pans. I'm going to treat this a little bit different. I'm just going to put a little water in it for now. Normally you wouldn't want to keep water sitting in a cast iron pan because it may rust, but it's only going to be for a few minutes, so I think it's fine. So I'm going to rinse out the cups that I used, and I'm going to get started with loading up the dishwasher. The first thing I'm going to do is put in the pots. You see at the bottom there's already some dishes at uh, in the dishwasher. I'm just going to take the pot because they're heavy and place these on the lower shelf of the dishwasher. The knives have a special place for that, sitting on the top right here, have to be careful. And the bowls, I have a place for this. I typically like to put it up inside of the dishwasher on the left-hand side. There's no real reason for me to put it right there, it's just this is the pattern that I go through um, normally. This is how I normally put my dishes in the dishwasher. I'm going to take the thongs and put those in there at the top because they're so big. They can't fit inside of the utensil holder. I'm going to take the cast iron again. I'm going to set that to a side because it has to be treated. And then this pan right here, it's a stainless steel pan. Now with the pans, I also try to put on the bottom of the dishwasher because of how heavy they are. And I'm going to stick that on there, the bowl on top. The cups, I typically tie, try to put these on top next to the bowls. They typically uh, fit around the center of the top shelf. As you can see, I'm putting them there. And then here is the top to the blender. I'm going to put this on top, but I'm going to screw off the top of it so it gets washed thoroughly and separate them. And I'll join them again once the dishes are done washing. Set that all in there, and a few more dishes. There's the top to a one of the mason jars. Going to place it in there, and then there's this odd shape strainer which takes up a lot of space, but I can fit it right there, and it will come clean. So I'm just going to go ahead and push those in there. So once I have those in there, I'm going to clear out the sink a little bit, and um. Go ahead and push the dishes in, put a washing pod within there, close it, and then I'm going to choose the correct setting for this. And now with this, because it's not a super heavy load, I trust me, I get heavier than that, I'm going to put it on sensor mode in this Whirlpool dishwasher, and then I'm going to do heat dry, as you can see I have the selected, sandy rinse, and high wash temp, or high temp wash. And I'm going to delay this, because I like this to go on while... Um, you know, uh, later on, so I put the delay for six hours, 
and then press start and then now now that I'm down to the cast iron pans I put a little bit of soap dish detergent soap in there and then I take this non-metallic scouring pad and I just scrub it gently not too hard just to get uh, the stuck on debris off of the pan and then set it up top right here and I'm going to do the same with the other larger size cast iron pan just a little soap and then scrub it slightly with that once I've scrubbed it quite enough I'm just gonna go ahead and rinse this out rinse the soap out and try to get the sides and the handle because those can get um, a little bit dirty as well so I'm going to take this pan and just set it to the side and then take the smaller one and do the exact same thing when it comes to rinsing it so now that it's rinsed I'm going to have to season the pan again um, so I'm going to take the hand towel and just dry them off just to get the excess water off on both size pans first the small one and now the larger one So once I've done that, I'm going to set the pans on the stove and I'm going to turn the stove on for both of the pans to heat them up. Now this process is called seasoning the pans, seasoning a cast iron pan. So when I heat up the pans, what it does, it actually uh, opens the pores of the pan and I'm able to pour some oil into the pan. And this oil will seep into the pores that open up when it gets hot. Now, you want this oil to be spread around in the pan, so I'm going to spread this oil all around on the inside of the pan. All right, And I'm just going to continue to heat the pan up for a little bit before I turn it off and let it cool. And that is how I'm seasoning this pan, both of these pans. Now that I've finished that process of seasoning the pans, it's time to clear off the countertop. Don't have any dishes left up on there, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a cloth and any debris that was on the countertop, I'm just going to slide it into the sink. That way it can go down inside of the garbage disposal when I turn it on. Alright, so it's in the sink and now I'm going to treat the surface with Myers soap. I'm just going to spray the surface of the countertop with this Myers soap. Now this right here I use as a detergent to get off the grit, grime, and grease from off of the countertop. I'm going to spray the spigot and I'm going to take my cloth right here and I'm going to just wipe it. Now this, cl this cloth that I'm using is a damp cloth so if it isn't clamp you might want to damp your cloth a little bit. And so I'm just going to go in in a circular motion all around the countertop. Now doing this will help bring up any grease that is left on the countertop surface. All right, and it's important that you get all, every inch of the countertop to make sure that it's really clean. I'm gonna go in circular motion. And at the end, I'm just going to take it along the edges of the countertop to make sure I get the edges. Now, this is an area that is often overlooked, but it does accumulate dirt as well. So once I've finished doing the countertop, I'm going to get into the sink and clean out the sink. Now, I'm going to do this by, I already sprayed it with the Myers. I'm going to take a little bit of detergent soap onto this non-metallic scouring pad and I'm just going to scrub the inside of the sink again in a, a circular motion because this brings up the dirt, grit, grime, and grease and just really scrub the inside of the sink. Now it's important that you get every inch of the sink the way when you rinse you're rinsing into a clean sink
Also going to scrub the detergent dispenser. And then I'm going to take this hose from the sink and I'm going to rinse out the sink. I'm going to start from the edges and then just go all the way around. And when all the suds are gone from out of the sink and everything's rinsed down, I'm going to rinse off my scouring scrub. Now it's time to get the other counter by the stove. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the items that I don't need to wash, such as the tea kettle and then the fruit bowl. I'm going to put this on the counter behind me so I can wash the countertop thoroughly. Next, I'm going to take the the grill off of the stove and move these to the back counter because I want to get underneath this. And as you can see, some pieces of food fell through the through the grate and I'm going to just go ahead and pick these up and toss them into the trash can. Then I'm going to spray the surface with Myers soap. As you can see, I'm doing the countertop with Meyer soap, and then I'm also doing the stove with the Myers detergent to get off the grime, grit, and grease from off of the stove. Then I'm going to check the eyes of the stove. Now, with this particular stove, I'm able to take off the eyes just like this, and I'm able to actually get more surface area cleaned by doing this way. with my damp cloth and my scouring brush I'm gonna take the scouring brush the non-metallic scouring brush wet it a little bit with water and bring it back over here on the stove and then scrub out the grime grit and grease from off of the stove top making sure get every area right here including the around the eyes And then I'm going to also take off the handles that way I can get more surface area cleaned. Now when doing this, you want to make sure you get every crack and crevice because there's a lot more crevices on this part of the cleaning video. And after I've scrubbed it with a scouring brush, I'm going to take my washcloth and then I'm going to wipe off all of the, the grit, the hard down grit, grime and grease that uh, was hard to get up. I'm going to take the cloth and then wipe everything down. Now this is going to remove the soap as well as the grind, grit and grease. Once I've done that, I'm going to rinse out my cloth because it picked up a lot of grime, grit and grease and then return it to get uh, even more of it up. See, I'm wiping down right here. And then I'm going to return these tops back to the stove right here. Just going to place them into place. And here's the small one. And then I'm going to put the handles back on. Make sure they're properly put back on.
once they're put back on, I'm going to re replace the grates and put them back on to the top, just like this. Now they're heavy, so I want to make sure that, that I put them in place gently so I don't damage the stove top. Then I'm going to proceed to wipe the countertop off of the grime, grit, and grease, moving things over to make sure I get every spot cleaned. Wipe the other countertop off. And then there's a blender, and I'm going to want to wipe that down and wipe around this as well. So I'm going to find this and wipe down the blender from all sides. Then there's one thing I forgot. I forgot to use Windex. I like to use Windex after I finish wiping everything down because it gives it a nice shine. And so I'm going to take the Windex and spray the stovetop and then just get a dry cloth and then take the dry cloth and just rub it all around. And this will really give the surface a nice polish. going to continue by spraying the countertop and doing the exact same thing using the Windex to get the surface. As you can see, it's giving it a nice sheen. I'm going to continue to get the surface that I initially washed with the Windex spraying it all around. Spraying inside of the sink as well. Doing this, it's gonna make this really shine nicer. Get the spigot, and you'll really notice how much the spigot will shine how clean, much cleaner it will look. Then I'm going to get the inside. I'm spraying it with another coating of the Windex because I really want to get in and get this looking really nice so I used a little bit more Windex I'm not sure if that really helped a little more but in my head it made all the difference then I'm going to get the refrigerator spraying that it's a stainless steel finish I'm going to use an actual dust cloth or a different cloth on the uh, refrigerator to get this shining a little bit more. Wipe the inside and then wipe it down all the way down to the bottom. Wipe this and look at it shine. And that's cleaning the kitchen. Thank you for cleaning with me.